Good morning, everyone. This is the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory update for June 12th. In the lower east rift zone of Kilauea, the line of closely, there's a line of closely spaced vents at Fisher 8, um, not new fissures, just close vents, um, and they are erupting up to 160 feet, as they have in past days. They are still feeding the fast-moving channelized lava flow to the ocean at Kapoho. At the ocean entry in Kapoho, we are now seeing what are called littoral um, explosions, which are steam and lava explosions that occur when, when lava flows directly into the ocean and does not have any time to cool before it does. Um, these show up in our videos as gray plumes within the overall Lays plume, which we are still seeing at the flow front. Um, we are also still seeing weak spattering at fissures 16 and 18, as we have over the past few days, but no other fissures are active at this time. VOG and SO2 emissions are still a concern from the Lower East Rift Zone. At the summit, at 1.52 a.m. this morning, uh, we had another ash pour explosion at Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater. Uh, the event and its precursory earthquakes were widely felt in the volcano area. Following the event, as has happened in the past, uh, multiple explosions, seismicity dropped following the explosion, but we are still seeing slumping of the rim and walls of the Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater, and occasional SO2 and ash emissions are still see being seen downwind of the crater.
<laughs> it's a crack in the road. And so what we're looking at here is a fountain of lava feeding a lava flow that's traveling mainly to the south, away from us. And you can see that here is the height of these two fountains. So we can compare it with last night and that'll perhaps uh, pin down an effusion rate for, for this system. And just to be able to monitor the evolution of the fountain through time. We also really want to be able to see if we can measure the progress of the flow front here to see if it's moving northward in this direction at all. But it looks like, you know, we were here last night looking down this driveway and it looks like the flow really hasn't progressed too much in, in this northward direction. So that's a positive. We really want things to be able to flow south towards the ocean rather than towards the suburb with all of the houses.